Good morning, anglers. I'd like to welcome y'all out to the 2017 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship Day 1 here in Florence, Alabama. You know, it's going to be interesting. Uh, we found out a little bit in practice over the four days. Just hoping they uh, decide to bite today, really. We found some good schools in practice. Found some, uh, you know, we think are four or five pounders on the graph. So we're going to run down river and see if we can't get us some good fish in the boat. Had a good practice. Uh, I just feel like this, this lake is so big, but it's going to fish so small. One of nine primary impoundments on the Tennessee River, Pickwick Lake stretches 43,000 acres between the Wilson and the Pickwick Dams in northwestern Alabama. Pickwick's a very uh, diverse fishery. You got largemouth bass, you got spotted bass, and you got smallmouth bass. So a lot of different opportunities to go catch them offshore. Ledge fishing is a big deal on this lake, but guys can also catch them shallow in some of the sloughs and backwaters that this lake provides. So it's going to be really interesting to see what techniques prevail this week out here on Lake Pickwick. Auburn University won this in 2016, and they're back to defend the title. There, this, this might be a little different. We know there's, you know, last year it was predominantly offshore ledge fishing. This year there's been some bigger fish caught shallow, but we still, we still believe it's going to be one the same way. You know, maybe not the exact same way we think it's going to be offshore. You know, we're, we put all of our eggs in that basket. That's what we're going to try to do. We've got 192 teams on the water this week, representing 92 college and university campuses from across the country. They're fishing for two days and the title. In addition, double points are up for grabs in the Cabela's School of the Year standings. The home team from the University of North Alabama have won the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia two of the last five seasons. They're in the hunt again this year, sitting in third behind Bryan College and the University of Tennessee. Bryan College has been fishing just crazy good this year. I think their worst finish is an eighth all year. And we slipped up at Dardanelle and it's cost us, so um, hopefully they slip up and open the door for us and maybe we can kick it in. Pickwick Lake may be UNA turf, but the team from Bryan College have been taking care of business all season. And to them, this week is no different. Oh, we can't wait. We've been graphing all week and uh, haven't got to fish hardly at all. So we're excited to make a couple casts and what we find. The game here, like anywhere, is playing the pattern. Post spawn, the bass move from the shallows and bunch up in big schools on the edge of the deep ledges on the river channel. Find the schools, catch the fish. First step is to put a limit in the boat, then go to work increasing the average. Yep. I thought it was. Whatever it is, 15 inches. <laughs> Buy for about nine pounds. Maybe. <laughs> it's going good. We got a limit about the first 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't weigh much. We'll see if we can call up a few, a little bit. Oh, you're good. Uh, I'm not really sure why they're here, but they're here. It's not really anything obvious. Uh, a little rough spot out there. There's a whole bunch of fish sitting out there. You'll hear more from Nathan and Cole in coming days. Moving on, we'll check in with Austin Mize and Nathan Martin, fishing for the University of North Alabama. Do you guys feel like you have a home field advantage? Yeah, so. you know, a lot of times when we go to travel, I feel like there's not really a home field advantage. There is and there's not. But when it's ledge fishing, if you got a bunch of schools you can run, and a lot of these guys are going to run down there and there's going to be somebody sitting on the only three schools that they found, and then they're going to get spun out, and it's just hard. But, you know, when you're from here and you got 25 plus schools to run, you don't have to get so spun out about somebody being on something. You can you know, go hit something and then come back to it and just keep rotating. So I feel like uh, home field advantage is huge for a ledge fishing tournament. Uh, I mean, it's just a ledge. They get here every year, I'm throwing a big swim bait. Mm. It's hard to get these schools fired up because there's so much traffic on them. They get run over every day. Tuesday nighter, Thursday nighter, Friday nighter, Monday nighter. They get messed with. So we fired them up with a drop shot and then I threw that big swim bait in there and got a big bite. So that's the game plan all day. Hopefully we can keep them fired up. If we can get five out of this stool like that last one, it'll free us up, let us run around like We've been all morning. I know it's hard to follow me. 
This is John Garrett and Brian Powell fishing for the Wildcats of Bethel University. We're gonna we're gonna fish we're gonna be ledge fishing this uh, this week and we're gonna hit we, our main school big school we found end up found it first day of practice we looked again yesterday and it got bigger and some bigger fish in it so hopefully it'll pan out for us um, if we get there the first boat hopefully we can whack on a little bit. There's actually what we got going is we uh, just got some fish just moved out of this creek right here. There's actually a big school up there where those boats are. There's a little small school right here. Um, these fresh are, you know, these are fresh fish. They just moved out the past couple days, but <clears throat> we got three little ones right now. It'd be nice just to catch a couple more here and then we'll spend the rest of the day upgrading. You know, I, I love it because you can you can pull up on a ledge or a hump or secondary creek channel, whatever you, whatever the fish are, and you can have 25 pounds in a boat in 15 minutes. And I mean, you can also sit out there all day and struggle, but it's just that opportunity to pull on a school, you know, get them fired up, catch them at the right time and load the boat real quick. Uh, we're throwing big crankbaits, 10 XDs, 8 XDs. Uh, we're gonna throw plum worm, uh, the whole nine yards, all of it. Yeah. See, whatever bites. While Garrett and Pal work on a limit, we'll check in with the University of Tennessee at Knoxville's Bradley Devaney and Saxton Long. Fishing the deep ledges, you'll see a big mix of techniques. Drop shots, Carolina rigs, crankbaits, and football head jigs. The old timers still throw spoons with a good degree of success. If you really want to learn how to fish, fish deep. We've uh, we've been catching a lot on this bait the past few days. That's a it's a good start. It's about a three. Oh man. Let's not skip that first fish off our back. First and the last fish, always the hardest to catch. I know it. Two, three, and four ain't bad usually. I just throw on a Carolina rig. Just going, going as slow as you can go. I had one bite, but there he is. Two. I'm feeling a lot better now. Well, that's not a five, but getting back. Baby, fish. You got it? Yep. Feels like good. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do this. No! That was a big one, that was a five. That one hurts a lot. That's part of fishing, that's why I call it fishing, not catching. After a dozen or so years, we are still amazed at the level at which these collegiate anglers compete. You know, these kids continue to impress me. They go out there on a lake, they practice just like the pros, and they post results like the pros. I know they're fishing a team tournament, but they still gotta get around the right schools on this lake, and they seem to do it every year. They're great kids, they're great ambassadors for their sponsors, great ambassadors for the sport, 
And you know, they're gonna be great ambassadors at the next level if they decide to go that way. It's amazing to me to see the evolution of the college angler over the years. I can remember when this tournament was still taking place on Lake Louisville. It's been in Pickwick now for a long time. And just the, uh, you know, the skill level that continues to rise with these fishermen. And, and you're seeing a legitimate career arc that's taking a lot of these guys to a, a post-college career in professional fishing. Join us next week as we continue tournament coverage from Pickwick Lake and day one of the 2017 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. There's a title and the Cabela's School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia on the line. A big thanks to our friends at the Florence Lauderdale Tourism and Visitor Center. For travel information on the Shoals region, check out visitflorenceal.com.